Welcome to MindWorks tutorial. My name is Tina and today I will lead you through the initial steps to configure the network settings of your time server via the web interface. To be able to access the LAN time web interface, you will need the IP address or host name of your time server. The following steps will show you how to set up or find out the IP address for LAN time servers which provide a display and LAN time servers with no display. Let's have a look at the LAN time M300, a time server which has a display. After having successfully connected the M300 to the network, your antenna and power supply, you can switch it on. After completion of the boot process, the three LEDs turn green. Your time server is now up and running. As soon as the main menu appears on the display, press the F2 key. This will take you to a sub-menu where the IP address of your time server is shown. In the factory default configuration, the DHCP client is enabled and if you connect it to your LAN time to a network with the DHCP server, the IP address for your time server will be assigned automatically. To assign a static IP address via the display, press the F2 key again. Now you can proceed with the following key combination. Press OK to enter the interface menu. Select the interface your LAN time is connected to using the up and down keys. Enter the IPv4 address configuration with the OK key. Now you've reached the IPv4 configuration menu. Press OK to enter the menu where you can disable the DHCP client. Use the down key to disable the DHCP client and confirm with OK. You can either optionally save the current settings with F2 or wait until the display changes automatically to the IP configuration menu. Press the right arrow key, then the OK key to jump and edit your static IP address. In the IP address menu, use the right and left arrow keys to select the digits and the up and down arrow keys to move forward in the digit sequence. After you have entered your static IP address, confirm with OK. Proceed in the same manner to set gateway and netmask. Press F2 to save the parameters you have changed. Now you have successfully reconfigured your network settings. Now for models without a display like the Landtime M100, you will need to go through different steps to find out or set up your time server's IP address. First connect the M100 to the network, your antenna and power supply. Then plug in a serial console cable, which is connected to your personal computer, into the serial console port of the time server. This enables you to access the command line interface of your LAN time. After the time server has automatically started and completed the boot process, you can log into the CLI. For the next steps, you must use a serial terminal emulation program, for example PuTTY or Mobile Xterm on Windows or Minicom on Linux. Set the serial parameters in your terminal emulation software to 38400 baud, 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bit and start the connection. In some programs these settings are referred to as 8N1. As soon as the connection is established, the Mindberg authentication window appears. Some terminal emulation programs require you to press enter once to see the login screen. In the factory default configuration, the DHCP client is enabled and if you connect it to your LAN time to a network with the DHCP server, the IP address for your time server will be assigned automatically. In this case, you will be able to see it right in the login screen. Without a DHCP server, you can either use the auto IP which is shown automatically in the login screen if no network is connected or a static IP address that can be assigned using the start wizard. Enter the default username root and password time server, confirming each with the enter key. After you logged into the CLI of an unconfigured LAN time, 
the system will ask you if you want to run the start wizard to assign an IP address. Enter a Y when asked if you want to run the wizard or run it manually by running the CLI command slash wizard slash start wizard at the CLI command prompt. This will open the basic LAN time configuration wizard. Here you will need to answer questions about your network connection. The first two questions ask for the network interface you want to set up. LAN 0 is the default management interface, but you can select any other interface if your specific LAN time model is equipped with additional Ethernet ports. The second question asks for a host name and question 3 to 5 then cover the IPv4 address configuration. In order to set up a static IP address, you have to provide the IP address itself, the subnet mask and, if required, a default gateway. If you have entered DHCP at question number 3, the IP address subnet mask and gateway will automatically be received via DHCP. Otherwise, the system will set up the static IP address you provided. By saving the settings, you will return to the command line prompt of the LAN time. Now you can verify that the IP configuration has been configured correctly by executing the command show IP. You should be able to see your configured static IPv4 address or DHCP assigned address. Now you can use the IP address of your time server with or without a display. Open your web browser and enter the IP address of your LAN time server. The Mindback Authentication window opens. Enter the default username root and password time server. You have now reached the main menu of the LAN time web interface. To change network settings, select the menu Item Network. In this page of the web user interface, you will then be able to change all network-related settings and you can add additional IP addresses, set up your VLAN interfaces or enable, disable network services. If your LAN time received an IP address configuration from a DHCP server and you want to use a static IP address instead, you must disable the DHCP client, which is set as default, in the submenu Network Interfaces. For each virtual interface, you can assign a static IPv4 or IPv6 address, or enable DHCP to retrieve the IP configuration from your DHCP server. To disable DHCP for a virtual interface, uncheck the DHCP client option. Enter your static IP address into the field TCP IP address and your subnet mask and gateway as required. Save the settings and you have successfully reconfigured the IP address of your time server. The web user interface allows you to modify a lot of configuration parameters. More about this will be explained in future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching Mindworks tutorial and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels to stay informed about new videos. Mindwerk, the synchronization experts.